This is my six horse uh, high torque uh, 346. And it's pretty fast too. Um, that thing runs exceptionally well for a 50cc saw. It, uh, that's one of them ones I've been whole humming around about the idea of sending down the road or not. I don't know. Like I said, every time I dig it out and I cut with it, ugh, I don't want to sell it, but at the same time, how many 50cc saws do I need? Um, it's a very nice example of a 346 too. It's got the little bit of scuffing on the cover and it's got a little split right here, but the thing's top-notch runner. Pulls chain like crazy. Um, I suppose if the price was right, I would probably let it go. Um, I don't know. I guess I'd have to get my four, the 45cc one out and run it. That's six horse as well. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, let me pause you.
builds both uh yeah kids dropping off a couple crackers couldn't have them at their place probably gonna give them to my brother he's got ducks uh yeah two totally different uh builds this is a taper top uh 45 cc original edition i totally rebuilt that saw all the rewind and cases are used, but everything else is uh, brand new in that. And I did a taper top build. Uh, this is the 50cc version, flat top build, if I recall. Uh, and I got quite a bit more muffler mod on this one. They both made about the same power on the dyno. Uh, this one has more torque, uh, that 50cc one. Uh, I can push on it quite a bit harder. Uh, I can tell the the smaller CC one wants to rip a little bit more, but uh, yeah, I don't know. But uh, every time I dig them out, if I was to sell that old rendition, it would have to go for a really pretty penny, um, just for what's been done to it and. Uh, you know, that's uh, they're getting pretty rare to find. Uh, these you can still find here and there, but people are still wanting a pretty penny for them all beat up. And this one's in good shape. Um, they both dyno at six horse. Uh, this one's just got a fuzz more torque. Um, I think the 50cc one's got the fresher chain on it too, but uh. I think the other one's got one of my hand files on it but uh yeah i don't know price was right i'd probably uh sell that one and that big wood where the exhaust note changed it wasn't bogging uh, that style muffler mod when you get it close up to the tree without big spikes uh it seals off the muffler and then it reverts back to the stock outlet so it uh changes to tone there a little little bit but uh this thing's a definite runner, but uh, I'd probably, not saying I don't like them, they tend to tip over on the side, and uh, I just don't like the outboard clutches, but I don't like it on my 550 either. Um, but uh, these things nip the heels on my 550, so I don't know. I think I'd keep the I think I'd keep the 42 millimeter one just because that's a harder one to find and I have a spare 50 cc cylinder for it if I ever wanted to, to bump it to 50 cc like this one um, but if the price is right I would probably let this one go but uh, 
Yeah, that thing's, both of them are runners. Um, I, I don't want to hear it from the wood critics, but that, that freaking live spruce right there, that live blue spruce, that stuff is pitch locked and uh, it will really pull a saw down uh, compared to like oak or whatever. These saws here, I haven't put much runtime on that 40, the 45cc one, but uh, the, the bearings and stuff need to break in on that one. Um, but I have cut with that 50cc one there, and uh, that thing will flat boogie just like the 550 does through uh, fresh oak. Um, and uh, to answer the the idiot commenters, uh, I, I don't speed my footage up. I hit record. I don't know how to do that speed up footage crap. Um, there's a couple videos uh, where I was doing tree work with a buddy. That part way through there, that was all sped up. He he did uh, the guy I had edited. I don't know if he wants to be named or not. The the my buddy that edited that for me. He uh, it was like I don't know three hours of footage or something, and uh, he condensed it all down. So there was some little blips of fast forwarding through it uh that's about the only stuff that's on my channel that's ever been fast forward um but if, if it's me hitting the record button you guys are seeing it as the camera records it i don't i don't dink with the i don't dink with that stuff uh got quite a few cookies cut up ready for the burn barrel now <laughs> but uh yeah so um i'm cutting on this stuff so I don't destroy my firewood. I've destroyed plenty of really nice firewood to sacrifice for you guys to make YouTube videos. And I really don't want to burn this stuff. I'll burn a piece here and there through it, but I really don't want to burn this stuff through my garage uh, wood stove. Uh, but uh, I'm fine having little cookouts and stuff, and the cookies burn just fine for that. So it won't get wasted. Uh, my neighbors, uh, they have little bonfires and stuff too, and I give them uh, cookies as well. But uh, I basically took all this stuff on so I could make you guys content. Um, it'll be nice when I get back into the white pine, which is back here. That stuff's a whole lot funner to cut on. Uh, so um, I don't think that was a dead standing one right here. This was a dead one. That was a dead dead spruce i don't think there's much pitch in that i think it was standing i think when it died it all seeped back down to the bottom so that log's not too bad to cut on but these ones that are oozing that sap and stuff oh man they especially if you get down by the trunk butt or whatever these things really pull us on now actually surprises me how hard they pull down but uh yeah so there's my 346s it uh someone offers me the right price i'll sell that gray covered one um that's like like some people call it the primer bulb edition but uh doesn't hurt the performance any at all in fact it actually makes it a little nicer starting like that one they've both sat about the same amount of time i had to pull my guts out on that one um because it's not been ran since i don't know early on in the summer and uh, this one, all I had to do is dump gas in it, push the primer bulb a few times, third pull, she took off. That one was, the other one was, I don't know, 10, 10 pulls or so on choke, and then it popped off, and then she started acting a little cold-blooded for a second, and then got, got the air bubbles worked out of the carburetor, and it runs totally fine. But I think I'll keep, I think I'll keep the 45cc one. Um just because I have 10 times more work into it. Uh, it's more of a personal. Both of them are personal builds, but, uh, the, you know, that thing, flat boogies. So if someone's looking for, you know, I know a lot of times I end up shipping an Echo or something down the road, but every now and then I ship a Husky down the road too. So um, I don't think I need two of them. And I have another 50cc cylinder for the other one if I wanted to convert it so yeah uh, if you guys are interested in that chbriscoe gmail.com or facebook messenger or those that have my number can just text me you guys uh take it easy have a good one um I'm gonna put 
uh, loose things up and I gotta situate their cage. I got a little little heat light out there for them, so I'm gonna put a top on it. So, yep. You guys uh, take it easy.